what Tinubu did to terrorist financiers that Buhari was unable to do. The Nigerian Financial Intelligence Unit reportedly listed the identity of the 15 entities, including nine individuals and six brewery the change operators and firms. More reactions keep trailing at the list of alleged terrorism financiers released by the Nigeria Financial Intelligence Unit, as well as the tragic murder of 17 military personnel in Delta States on March 14, 2024, while the military says investigations are ongoing. A former commander of Operation Safe Haven in Plato State, Major General Henry Ayola, retired, described it as an assault on the Nigerian state. He was a guest on Chinese television's policies to the program during the week. Hmm. Okay. Give us, Esat, give us a sense of what happened in Yokoma community and within the security circle. There is a lot of talk about the implication, implications, what could have led to the attack and the dynamics of this. For some, one like you who has led to in similar terrain what came to your mind when you heard the story and this is being true now this is a man he said thank you very much i will start by commiserating with the families of these gallant officers and uh, soldiers who were gruesomely murdered in a very unusual way in a tragedy it is anathema it is a terrible Thing that shouldn't have happened at all. I joined all members of the armed forces of Nigeria and including those of us who are outside the service to commiserate with the families of the deceased personnel. We pray that we pray and trust God that we will comfort the bereaved ones, and that is the kind of a thing that should never happen to us as a nation <laughs> which should not happen to us as a nation at all at all so nobody is praying for that so another question is being thrown to him uh, taking him to the terrorism financiers list that was released by the authority which listed about 15 persons and firms alleged to be involved in a terror financing and are being listed for sections what do you make of this? Wow. He said Nigeria has been battling to keep terrorism for over 20 years now from the northeast region. I mean, why the former chief of uh, Army staff, Buratai, told us that uh, uh, this whole thing will end in 20 years' time, so it's going to be like 40 years. 20 years before and after 20 years, everything will be okay according to what. Uh, um, what uh, this uh, this guy talked about, and now we are seeing some active roles of these terror gangs within the northwest region of the country in the name of banditry. Now, one of those persons is facing a trial over alleged link to the train attack in Kaduna. To come more in this particular situation, what comes to mind when you hear that the Buhari government? had said it would release the list of terror financiers, but for eight years, as he said, only me, oh, for eight years, that never happened. He said, I think uh, this is one of, one place that we should give a pat on the back of the current government, the Bola Sinumbu administration. I was on the edge of severely, uh, severally during the last re regime. There was lack of national will to deal with this situation at this time. It is good to see a government that is showing a stronger way to deal with these issues. I have said this again and again, that what we have is a political strategic problem masquerading as security challenges. I said that, I said that 1,001 times in my analysis of insurgency and terrorism, I have worked or talked about eight essays, and indeed, one of the essays is what is coming out now. Sponsors, because out of the eight essays, 
all the approaches we have applied is trying to solve the in trying to solve the insurgency and terrorism in the country are just about two components of those eight. So adding this third one to it go a long way because it's like we have been dodging the issues. It's like uh, we have been dodging naming the enemy, naming the adversaries behind this problem. Are we saying that the gates of hell were open suddenly and Nigeria is just having this all around security challenges coming? Is it that uh, aliens were sent from some abyss to come and attack Nigeria at all say, at the same time? <laughs> mm. Really? So this one is not present in Mbuna for doing that. Hmm. Well, a tribalistic general, why didn't he say this why Buhari was in power? That is what the Nigeria military has been reduced to. A coward military that is why the security system has collapsed and people are only surviving by the mercies of God. Hmm. Surviving by the only mercies of God. Can we just imagine? Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Okay. APC change, what do you mean? Apart from this individual named, there are still others that are still at large and untouchable. The question is, they just named them. What are you going to do? Where are they? Are they not in this country? Why can't they be re arrested? Now that we learned that uh, the students kidnapped in Kaduna or whatever have been released. Now, you want, they want to tell us they didn't know them. And at the end of the day, you say you know some people. Instead of you to go after them, you are not going after them. You are just naming them. So that's what will happen. What will happen? That is the problem we are having. What will happen? So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this matter.